who can turn the world on with her smile? Who can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile? Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it. With each glance and every little move, make you show it. Love is all you really know, I need to waste it. You can have the talent, why don't you take it? You're gonna make it after all. You're gonna make it after all. And here we are. Live. Hey, Live. everybody. Yeah. How are you? Uh, Hope you had a great weekend and week. Yeah. We had some great weather. Very hot. Very hot. Super hot, sticky, um, just heavy duty humidity. Soupy. Right? Soupy. Soupy. Now, we don't have a guest this week. No, nope, just you and me. It's just, just, just you and I. See? Everything leads to a song, <laughs> which is good because it is. <clears throat> one of us can sing and one of us can't. Well. And we have, uh, let's share what we're drinking today. Maybe yeah, we'll get so, a, a sponsor at a high noon. Who knows? Yeah, high noon. So it's really hot out here. Yeah. So this is high noon, which is good because it's, um, it's, Love it. it's vodka. And it's delicious. <laughs> it's really good. And um, What are you drinking? You're drinking peach? Yeah. Well, we had the option for lime and peach. You I took went with the lime. lime. I took the peach. And it's really good. It's summery. It's light. Mm -hmm. And um, you'll like it. Mm. And it's, Crisp and cool. Uh, yeah, it's vodka. It's not the malt. Like, because White Claw has, like, the malt liquor yeah. and stuff like that. This is a little lighter vodka. If you're a vodka drinker, I am. Go, I am. You can't go wrong with this one. So you know, when doctors good. tell you you want to lose weight, you drink vodka. Yeah. You, I listen to my doctors. <laughs> In my case, it's not work. I listen to the doctor. I'm going to start just drinking vodka. Well, you could just drink vodka on the rocks, like, and just really. That's, I could put a little, um, uh, Rose's lime juice, and then it's a gimlet, and then I'm, yep, that's I'm good. eighty. You know, you know, vodka on the rocks is good because it's water. You get a vodka salsa. Yeah, I walk you get a vodka club. That's the one, and with a splash of cranberry. That's usually sometimes that's my go-to. I walk into a bar. I'm like, give me a gimlet. <laughs> <laughs> and a Rob Roy. <laughs> and a Ron. Don't forget the cherry. And a Manhattan. <laughs> I wonder what Judy's drink was. Oh, it was a Dubonnet on the rocks. A Dubonnet, oh dear. A Dubonnet oh, on the rocks. Oh um, yeah, I know. I'm going to ask Judy right? what her go-to mm -hmm. drink was. Okay. I see. So I don't Dubonnet. know if we... Um, I'm, okay, so I don't know. We don't have any comments yet. So I'm just... I'm still yeah. can anybody hear figuring us? all of this out. So here we go. Oh, no, we don't want to see the comments. Oh, we can see the comments. If you make a comment, we can see the comments on the screen. Real? Oh. So I think I might just leave that there. Yeah. Why not? That's pretty we'll cool. See what happens. Yeah. That is cool. So uh all right. Oh, so they actually show it on the screen. They so do. Maybe, they yeah. show it on the screen. So let's see if somebody makes a comment. <clears throat> that would be cool. All right. So a couple of things. Go ahead. First of all, um happy birthday to Ooh. Madison Grando. Yes, Madison Grando. Um last uh uh Friday. Yeah, last Friday was the big birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. Uh twenty five. Yes. So that's, you know. Quarter of a century. Yeah. I said she's uh, going through, uh, uh, instead of like midlife crisis, yeah. quarter century crisis. And, and this is she, where she's at right Dinner now. probably cost a quarter of a thousand dollars. A little more than that. Yeah. And um, last Friday was also my brother-in-law's birthday, oh, Rob. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rob. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Yep. And today is their 21st mm -hmm. wedding anniversary. My sister, Amy, and my brother-in-law, Rob. Wow. Happy anniversary. I wonder if Rob... It finds out like what is the twenty first year gift? Yeah, Did it's the that? same. It's it's a it's a carryover from last year's gift, which was Aruba and a vow renewal. <laughs> so, oh, so that's just. I'm that, sure there's good. no twenty first gift right there you're at all. You're good to twenty five. You're good to twenty five. <laughs> there is we'll no. Uh... We we'll see you at the silver. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, and um, so we have that. So that's good. What else did um? We're going to share some pictures today. Yeah, pictures of people. Who've done the show. Should we do that now? Yeah, do that now. Let's do that now. Some pictures of people who have, um, my mother's put me on now. 
All right, just a minute, want, Judy. One minute. We've got to. Why don't we just go to Judy? Should we go to Judy? All right, we're going want, to Judy. She uh, wants to be on. Now. She private messaged me. Put me on now. Who's who's running this show? Apparently her. Apparently. So maybe she's going to dispute the Dubonnet. I story. mean, I know she used to drink Dubonnet on the rocks. Now she likes. See, there's a question. She likes. Um, she likes wine. Wine is always. She loves good. prosecco, Ooh. but her drink. Back then, and now, you know, of course, I told you this, she likes I'm Fireball. You, uh, I'm thinking she's going to say that's uh, not her drink. That's I know. That's my guess. Let's bring her on and see. All right, so let's Judy's see. Gems, Here comes one. Judy. Not Judy's gems. I'm putting her back in the box. She doesn't get to run the show, but she wants to come on. She's got something to say. <clears throat> what have you got to say? Hi. You should, you should have been with me. You should have been with me a minute ago. No. I got one of those BS phone calls. You know about they uh, apologized because I was over uh, charged on my electric bill. So uh -huh. press one to speak to someone. So when he came on, I used my Indian accent, and hey. I, <laughs> you immediately dumped. It was an immediate dump. Now you're making me sweat. Oh, I am really. I am. I'm schwitzing too. I yeah. have like, I'm waiting for the comments to pop up and I'm really going to have to have a talk with her. She's 75. That's the reasoning I'm going to give. But anyway, so here's Fred Talixson. Remember yes. Fred? So great. Yep. Was. Yeah. And notice he, he customized it. Yeah. He, he customized went the tank it. Top. He went kind of tank top. He well. tank topped it, which I love. So I he wonder if he rollerblades or roller skates. <gasps> oh, I this. wonder. He probably does. He definitely right. strikes me as a I guy who would another, do that. I smell another photo coming. Or another video. You do a little video of you in oh, your brace yourself. You uh, that would be great. So Fred Talixson, choreographer from California. Your sound went bad. Um, my sound went bad. Judy, how do we sound? So are we sounding better? Give me a private message now, Judy. All right. So uh, another okay. one. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, keep Hopefully going. the sound came back. Hopefully it's not us. Um, now, Dennis, you don't know. I don't know. I didn't meet Dennis. Dennis Brody, local guy, volunteer fire fireman in Lindenhurst. Okay. He was one of my first guests. First guest, actually, after Judy. Whoa. So I got a first official booked guest. Right. And um, I actually went to high school with Dennis okay. and his wife, Marie Elena. So he... Uh, he got me, he got the thing, he sent it. I didn't even have to ask him. He took a picture, put it on Facebook, and he goes, That's awesome. being uh, the first guest has its privileges. So there you go. there's Dennis. Perfect. And then uh, you remember John Bolton. Amazing. So uh, that's his picture. And then he did one for the Annie fans. You Annie fans will know. Yep. That's go the ahead. Say it. smile, darn you, smile. That's it. That's what that is. So those are the, the pictures that we have right now. Um, Those are awesome. We'll get more. Yeah, we're getting more. We'll get more. I've asked everybody who I give a, a t-shirt to. I've been like, you know how they have on Facebook? Have you heard of like the Drinker Bell fairies? So apparently there's these Facebook groups with these moms and they dust and they give, they drop off goodies and wine and stuff. Oh, I'm like, like the, like a surprise ding dong. See you later. Yeah. I'm okay. like the t-shirt fairy. I've just been driving all over anybody who's local who's been a or i've just boom. been mailing them well we got to get kletchka got him I, I dropped it off today brilliant and we got um last week patricia oh I we dropped got it patricia. off to her she's got to wear her. yep we got nancy we got carson um, and bonnie bill berloni he's getting me his Bill's picture to get it 
Yep, I'm on it. I'm on it. Anthony last week. I'm on it. I'm on it. I would be on it. I do my this job. Is the first I'd heard of that the tink the tink of I'm um, the t-shirt fairy is running around. I'm Great just saying stuff. when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. I don't like the implication. Do my t-shirts. Just saying. And you were just there. I made one mistake. <laughs> you, you had one job, Chris. You, you had, had one, one job. job. One job. But <laughs> I You can't. had one job. <laughs> well, did did Nancy get one and Bonnie? Yes. I I have been mailing them out. I'm telling you. I'm like Amazon. Who else who else was a guest? We have a lot. We have a lot. I have a lot of guests. I have guests that who are on the show before you that I have to um call them and, and ask them to send Can me I make pictures. I'm gonna make a confession that um I had my shirt. You lost it. And I lost I lost my shirt. It's not good. Don't look at me like that. It was a mistake. It was a big mistake. One shirt I haven't lost is my Britney Spears t-shirt. Yeah, exactly. You know, I bet you that the Brace Yourself shirt is probably in the back of your car. You use it, it as like not. a grease rag it or something. Not. It is not. It is not. I looked all <laughs> over for it. Somebody it's a grease stole rag. it. Somebody oh, stole God. So, um, Bonnie sent me. Yes, Bonnie sent me. Um, so, somebody said, Paul uh, on here said something about the show <laughs> tomorrow. Can't wait. I was supposed to do a comedy show tomorrow okay. at Barton's place. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Canceled. What happened? Apparently, you can be a lounge singer and sing in a bar. Right. But you can't be a comedian. Be a DJ or a comedian or a band because it draws a crowd. So you got to be a pretty lousy singer. Yeah. What does that say about the lounge right. singer? It's not good for the lounge singer. So that one was canceled. Why don't you do your comedy in song? That would be fun. That would be funny. Maybe I could do that comedy in song. But uh, so that was canceled. But I believe I still have the August um, 7th one at Governor's. So did I tell you about, do I talk about that last time? I don't think you did. No, the Governor's show. You should on talk the about patio. it. patio. Yeah, you should talk about it. It was fun. It was. It was. Weird because it was like really long, you know, and you're used to in a comedy club the crowd being really right close. close. But um, like I was gonna say, like, how do you get the vibe? How do you get the feedback from the audience if you know you killed it? If you know that one, you need work. Like, don't you want you kind of want yeah. that feedback, right? Yeah, it was a little tough. Um, but you know, the tables in the front, you, you got the kind of you worked off of them a little bit, right? Um, we were outside and we had a pretty full patio, right. and then inside. Uh, with the social distancing on the inside, it was it was a little crazy. The comedian was up there, um, Anthony Rodia. Okay. Uh, you know who he is? Uh, he does I the do. Italian. Yes. Com yeah. So, by the way, Anthony, if you're watching, or if anybody who is watching knows Anthony, you told um, me about it. Messaged you. Messaged you. Would like you on the show. Yeah. But anyway, you had one job. Anthony. He had one job, Anthony, to answer my message. <laughs> but it had a plexiglass thing hanging. Right. From the, you know. If you're doing the comedy from it. From Not behind great. the glass, like like a mime, you know? Yeah. Like the boy in the, the comedian behind the bubble. And then everybody the is spaced bubble. out in the in the place. So yeah, it's hard. It's it gonna be was, hard to get it's everybody be back very to, tough. to doing you know, getting everybody together to do comedy shows or what have you, even any any type of venues. Yeah. Like that. It's gotta be a grind. It is. It's gonna be it's so, gonna be a little tough. Yeah. Um but anyway, um so that was that was the comedy comedy deal. Okay. What what about what you what have you been doing? I've been kind of dominate. I dominate the conversation. I don't mean you're, to, no, but I got a lot now. to say. Honestly, I got a lot to say. But go ahead. I like when you keep going. I just wanted to, you know, well, were people wearing masks? Because I'm I'm fascinated with masks now. Because masks are, we talk about masks all the time. Yes. You and I, I yes. have this. You mask. have your mask. I have my mask. I right? do not. So I have mine in my masks. bag over there. So I think there's some good things to masks, mm -hmm. as well as there's some bad things to masks. Okay. I want to hear the good because I don't have a lot of good about the masks. Well, the good thing to masks, and I wrote notes on this, so I just I don't want to screw it up. So the good thing about masks are <laughs> that nobody can see your expressions. Right. The bad thing about the masks are you can't see somebody else's expressions. That's right. So right now, you don't know what I'm doing under the mask. I don't. You could be. So I'm going to give, I, I had a couple of examples. So like. 
Was this like a when game? <laughs> no, it's kind of a game, but it's not. I love games. When somebody's wearing something ridiculous, mm -hmm. kind of, this is what you see when I'm looking at that person. And then this is what you see under the mask. No, but see, you can't no, do the eyes. No, watch. But if you do the eyes with the mask. Look. Now you just look mad. <laughs> mask on, you can't tell. Mask off, you can tell. You can tell. That now is you, true. So the bad thing is, is that they can be saying, look at what is this? What? What yeah, is this guy wearing? But you can't tell. So the second example is someone says something dumb, this is what you say. Right? And this is what's really going on. <laughs> right? You see what I'm saying? I see what you're so saying. Some, so if you did something ridiculous. Saying. Yes. I would not know that you were. Well, uh, so my last example okay. is when Roseanne sees a really hot guy. This is what he sees. And this is what's going on underneath there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's my, that's that was funny. my observations. Because I was, I was. That when you, is... Whenever you're like in the supermarket, you're walking by the person. I wonder if they're going, you can't see if they're smiling. Yep. Usually you can tell a person's tone like, wow, that guy looks grouchy. Or, wow, that, that person's really yeah. happy. And they smile. But now we're just, we're robots. We're machines. We're mask wearing robots. Yeah, we're, we are. We're, we're... And I don't like it. Mm -mm. I hate it. It's no. terrible. I'll tell you why I don't like the masks. I can't wear lipstick. <laughs> right. The whole lipstick is, they're gone. I mean, lipstick is like, you know, the finishing touch. The lipstick on a woman is like the bow on a package. Okay. So you do your whole face, and then you have these, like, lips with no lipstick. <laughs> no one can tell, though. Nobody can tell, but still, then when you go somewhere and you take it off, now you're like, oh, look it. And then she has no you lips. Can, then you ruin your mask. And then you ruin the mask. And then the makeup, makeup all over makeup the mask. Makeup free. All right. All over the mask. We need developers to develop makeup, like non-stick masks or makeup that won't rub off on your mask. What are we talking what, about? This is people? even crazy. This is, this is very I crazy. And this is what else I like about, which I don't understand about. Uh -huh. So I went into Manhattan the other day. I went into the war zone, right? So uh, it was probably 70, 30 people wearing masks, people not wearing masks. Uh -huh. You know, they were outside, so you can, you have the option not to wear it yet so far. But, you know, most of the young people that get pissed if you're not wearing your mask, like that can happen. Like you mm, forget. Yeah. And a couple of incidents happened, you know, that I heard of lately that people really got mad. But these are the same people, these young woke people that go out and they actually smoke. They take the mask down and they're smoking. So what they're doing is, is they're just taking in poison into their yes, system. But they're going to yell at you that you might get this. You better put that on. But let me smoke this yeah. so I can get lung cancer. Oh, terrible. That is terrible. And then, and and Paul brings up a, a thought. Let let's click on Paul's thought. Kids are dressing up like old people with masks to get booze. What the, my thoughts? Brilliant. <laughs> if, if I could figure that, <laughs> I can't turn you off. <laughs> oh, this is that is a brilliant maneuver, and they're and they're getting away with it because no one's going to say, um, let me. You know, they're not even getting carded, Paul. So, uh, yeah, I I think it's um. Ah, kids are going to figure out kids how to get it anyway. It out. And um, if not, you know, they've figured out a hell of a lot more and, stuff. And know. listen, I, very kids now, I think parents are more buying alcohol for their kids now. They want them, they're like, oh, I'd rather you sit home and drink than, yeah, I than say, sneak in the woods like when we were kids. Yeah, man. We tried to, listen, we figured out how to do it. And, you know, listen, if you have kids, you know they figured out how to do it too. But um, these are new creative ways to get it. Um, I'd be lying to you if, it, if, uh, if I tell you I didn't have a fake ID, or I learned how to make them and charge twenty dollars an ID in college, oh, I yeah. did that too. We, so um, and it was easier when when we were younger easier. because no we photos. had the license that you could yeah change, no photos, and then right? there was no photos. Yeah, yeah as we drink. Mm. So that's actually um, that's a good question. I that think. is that's, that's a very I good say one. Bravo, and uh, why not get creative if you're going to get alcohol? Um, so I like the mask thing. I do. I like it. I'm glad that I didn't have to wear um, masks this week. This week, and I'll, oh, I'll, we got to talk about that. We, yeah, but first we have to talk about. I got a pool. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't do that either. I got a pool. We had a plan for the pool. Yeah. How big is the pool? The pool is. Oh, is it in and ground? It is not. It is not. It is above ground. It is um, 
inflatable. It's an inflatable pool. It's 120 by uh, 52, something like that. I don't know. It's long. 120 feet? Long. 120 feet. Inches. No. Inches. 10 feet. Inches. Yes. Yeah. Don't do, no, don't do this to me. So it's it comes up to about my knees. It's deep. It is very deep. I could drown in it. I need my floaties. <laughs> you drown in an inch of water. I need my floaties. Sure. But it was actually so here's what happened. Here's why here's why I had to go to the McDonald's in Bayshore, <laughs> like I'm doing a drug deal, and meet a woman in a parking lot to get a pool because I ordered a pool online. And I'm clicking through, and I'm like, this is a big, round, inflatable with the pump. It's a great deal. 80 bucks. How can you click, click, it? click. Going through. Complete order. Bang. Chinese writing. Oh. It's coming from China. If I see that pool in December, I'm lucky. Probably. It's not going to happen. So I needed a quick fix because I knew the hot, hot weather was coming. Yes. And I need to float. So currently, the pools are now sitting there with about, you know, very little water. But still too heavy for me to lift on my own and flip them over. <laughs> so I can rinse them out, refill it, and float. Right. So we'll see what happens with that. All right. But well, but I, I do I do You like it. I mean, listen, it beats sweating your took us off. Also true. You know? Yeah. I, if I got I could sit in the pool. Relax you know, a little bit. Relax a little bit. I got water guns. I could shoot the dog at the water gun. You know. Yeah. Oh. Let's get to the dog. We didn't talk about oh. Lola. Lola. My little Loli. Well, let's explain where you were this week oh. and why Lola is probably not going to be. You haven't seen her yet, right? I have not. She's not going to be happy. Like Bentley seems to not be happy. Yeah. she's. I mean, she's going to be happy in a very messy way. Peepy way. She's an excited peer. And I haven't seen her since Monday. And the girls have been texting me and sending me pictures all week of how sad Lola is and she's just looking, you know, looking down and very sad. Um, I went camping. It wasn't camping. <laughs> it was camping. Hey. So where'd you go? The Adirondacks? You must have went in deep into the woods. Go ahead. I went to Smith Point Park. My friend has a camper and I had to use public restrooms. <laughs> And I did is not have really a hair dryer. Camping? Is it camping when you when you're like seven minutes from the nearest CVS? I did not have a hair dryer. Okay. All right, and I had to walk places. Like where? The beach. the beach. Don't you have to walk to the beach now? Kind of, sort of. Sort of. I mean, kind of. But so here's the thing about camping. Okay. How um, big was the camper? It was pretty big. It was pretty big. You know, enough space. Yeah, plenty of space. Kitchen, bathroom, okay. back. Nice. Wait your a area you out. just said you used a public bathroom. Yeah, well, the bathroom you can use, you know, one, not around two. And you don't shower in there. You have to go to the public the showers. The public showers. Imagine that. Wait a second. Is it like wide open showers? No. Or what do you think? This is a pool? I don't know. It, no. <laughs> Round took a while. Like, here you are in the shower. Like, maybe it should have been. Maybe it no, was. It was. It was not. No. You said there was some incident. There were st oh, I'll get to the incident. So there were stalls. All right, so you're and in your own. You have stall. to go in your own stall. You have to bring your own shampoo, your own towel, your own soap, your own washcloth. You got to you got to dry. It's it's all it, it's hot and you're sticky and it, it's a little awkward. I mean, that's roughing it to me. You know, can yeah. Well, if you're not in your own place to shower, yeah. I mean, you don't realize um, how much you love your own bed. Oh, until yeah. you're forced to sleep on um, a table, you know, that folds down, that will you you will be eating breakfast out the next day. <laughs> so I that slept here, true. and now I'm eating eggs. It's a little weird. It is a little weird. It's a little weird. But it was fun. And it's my it's my best friend, Beth, and we had a great time. Okay. And so what, what, did, what did you do? Like, what was the number one activity you did? Oh, the beach. Okay. The beach. Every day, the beach, um, except for the part where we – you know, we had to get uh, COVID tests. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So which one did you get? Uh, the rapid uh, results. So you got the rapid results. Up the nose. So all the way back? Uh, yeah. Or just they do the swab? Oh, no, 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 no. She was, she was touching, you know, brain back matter. Back in the back, yeah. I yeah. Had that. I had yeah. That. That was, it was negative. It's uncomfortable. Negative. You're negative. Good. Negative. 
it. So excellent. Thank I'm glad you're telling me that. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have been here if I. But yeah. So negative. So we did that, and then we went to the beach a lot. Okay. And um, and then we had the um, the police, the park rangers. I've been waiting to hear this one. Yeah. Uh, so th there was basically uh, a fight between some kids. And okay. a parent got involved to pull the kids apart because it was her kid who was getting beat up. Okay. And then the kid punched the adult in the face. Oh, that's not good. And then pandemonium broke out. And were there are a lot of kids versus the uh, one well, parent? Yeah, well, here's the thing. They were walking up and down and they're cursing and they're yelling and the police are coming and I'm just standing there. You know, right. everybody's outside and this kid walks by and he looks at me and goes, you want to know what happened? You want to know what happened? And I went, no, not really. Just <laughs> not as long as everybody's right. okay. Keep going. Right. I went right into administrator. Nope, nope. Mind your business. Keep going. Right. Thank you. Nothing <laughs> to see here. Everybody clear out. But I was like, does your camping, is your camping trip ever really a camping trip? If the police, if the police aren't involved. Some would argue that it's really not a full trip unless that does happen. So, so that was, so, uh, so now what happened? So wait a second. So <laughs> did somebody, did somebody get arrested? No, I don't know the outcome because it was, uh, at night. It was hard to see. I'm trying to be inconspicuous, but, um, I, I, it was a kid who did the physical assault thing. So right. I, I'm, nobody went to jail, okay. you know, uh, although I will say it did keep Mr. Softy from coming. Which really oh, ticked me no. off. Because Did he come every night? He came every night, like three or four times a day, all day. Yeah. And I never got Mr. Softy because I was waiting for my he last probably, night. He probably saw the lights and was like, you yep. know what? I'm not even messing. I'm, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Are they allowed to be out, Mr. Softy? Uh, apparently. Apparently. Okay. So, oh, we have some more people. So, here. I love Deborah Jean. Great hair and drop shoulder dress. Love you. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Debbie sounds more like glamping. Yes, it was. It was, it was hardly roughing it. And the beach was beautiful. And the water, the ocean. Yeah. Was so clean. It's very clean right now. And so warm. It's so warm. Yeah, you can really enjoy it. We went, I went in the ocean. Okay. That does not happen. Ever. You gotta, was it calm? No, but it. What are you, what are you doing? Did you wear your brace? No. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like knocking me over, but, but let, uh, once you got past of, the, 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 the breaks, then, the breaks, you, then you were good. And it was I don't know why you're getting hurt. delightful. No, no. Yeah, no, it was, it was, the water's been spectacular oh, at God, Fire Island. Gorgeous. Just awesome stuff. Yeah, you were no, in I Fire did. Island, huh? I went on Sunday. Okay. We boated over there. We kind of hung out like all day long and I drank like 75 of those, <laughs> which was good. <laughs> and um, yeah. What, just, which part of Fire Island? Fair Harbor. Fair Harbor. So I went to Fair Harbor and, wow. um. Had a great time. Had a lot of laughs with uh, Mike and Donna. And, uh, yeah, we got there early, too. We got there at, like, 11. We didn't leave till like, 5. So, but the beach nice. is crowded. The beach is really yeah. crowded right now. And everybody's still kind of doing their things and staying apart. Still don't necessarily understand the sole person walking down the beach by themselves with their mask on. And they were doing it, man. Yeah. So, when you're sitting down, when we walked when we walked the walks and we went into the stores and, and stuff like that, and again, we wore our masks, but, man. We're on the beach like that. I don't know. Oh, I couldn't be on the beach. Are you kidding me? That would be that would be crazy. Yeah, I couldn't it was, do that. So it was hot too. It was, it's been really yeah, hot. So. It was hot. You would pass out. Yeah, people were jogging. They had their masks on jogging. Like that's another yeah. one I don't get. But all right. Oh yeah, I don't understand that. Oh, I just thought I left my chairs at my friend's. So I was going to get something. My beach chairs. It's better than missing an exit three times. Oh. Oh my God. Do you want to? I can't. I don't even know if I could talk about this. At, Without laughing, because I I sound, I must have sounded so stupid. Well, the third time you said you missed your exit, I was like, <laughs> okay, I, I need to hang up now. We were talking. We just do a little preamble, talk about what we're going to talk about uh -huh. tonight. She missed her exit like three times. Like, what are you doing? And I had the GPS on. <laughs> what? what? And happened? I think it's sad that I need the GPS to get from Smith Point back to Iceland. Well, but clearly, missing an exit three times. You're like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Missed the exit three again. times and I needed to, um, yeah. Yeah. You were a little distracted. That's I what was. I was. I was you trying left. to, I was, oh my God, I you could left. not, I had to hang Sometimes up. Sometimes the show's funny when it's just her and I just talking on the phone. Yeah. We should really video that. 
Yeah. Sure. Speaking of videos, we want to, I want to share some videos oh um, that you've made. You started, tell, tell us a little bit about the, the history of the video. How did it, how um, did it begin? Well, when Madison was, you know, first home, we were just so bored. So we did everything that you could possibly do. And then we just kind of, uh, I thought it would be funny to just do some stuff around the house and give the camera to Madison and occupy her time, my daughter. Um, and then my my humor sometimes is a little off. So I, making her feel uncomfortable by posting some of these things and having her yeah, videotape right. them. Um, you know, it's just another lazy day in quarantine. And then uh, one led to the next one, and then I, I did four of them, and they're they're fun. I think they're great. They're, fine, they're so. great. So we're gonna we're gonna share with you. We're gonna share the first one with you. Oh God. Okay. Um, Don't be too. We're honest. gonna share the first one, but I I wanna I wanna do uh, a little song first because I just think that this this I'm gonna have to put this in the computer. Before all of your songs, so here we go. Today I don't feel like doing anything. All right, so this is Lazy Day Video One. So turn up your volume, folks, so you can hear it. Here is Chris Grando, Lazy Day One. Got it. It's just the rear axle. The, I love them. So that was the I first one. That was so like funny. that was that was a short one. I love it. Yeah, it's like twenty seconds or so, and uh, we just had I had fun doing that. And I, I, I clearly I, a don't really know how to play the piano, um, or paint. And if you look close at the car, yeah. Well, watch it again. Yeah, watch it again. Uh, should we do Lazy Day three because we don't have two yeah Lazy for Day some... two for some reason? If you go on. Uh, Facebook, your Facebook My page. My Facebook page, you can see Lazy you Day You can say, yeah, um, but I'm going to play Lazy Day 3. It kind of evolved three. into 3 where... Now, this is a great one with Madison. Yeah, Madison's right? in this one. So, okay. So, hold on. You can um, do, do it again? Oh, oh, 100%, yeah. We need the intro, ready? Today I don't feel like doing anything. All right, Lazy Day 3. Hey, guys, I'm going for a quick run. Yeah, hold on one second, please. Okay, I have a cinnamon dolce latte with a splash of coffee make for Michelle with one out. Hi, Madison. Have a great day. Thank you. Stay safe. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, what are you talking about? I've read the whole box. I, I got this. It says with one there. I'm sure. Here we go. Oh, sweet. You got more roots than the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Personal best. Birthday! Happy 26th birthday! We love you! We love you! We love you! I'm not 25 till July. Good. With her pink hair. They're yes, good. I really did dye her hair pink. Wow. Wow. And not in actually video. Actually, what was done, we went and, and dyed it, and I did it. Okay. So I good. did get something done. All right. Well, very good. I mean, you, you've been you you used your quarantine time wisely. Yeah. Which is good, and and we get a little entertainment out of it, which yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to save Lazy Day 4. Save Lazy Day and, 4. And go on and watch. You can watch it. Can we um, expect a Lazy Day 5? I have th I need one more really good idea, but there, it is definitely a possibility that. I would like, a, yeah, that would be awesome. I would love a Lazy Day 5. That would be amazing. So, um, I think the one idea that you and I had yeah. could actually be part of Lazy part of Day 5. I like that. I like that. So that, so, that would actually be fun. <laughs> So should we bring Judy? Let's bring on Judy. Are you ready for Judy's gems? Oh boy. Judy. Are you ready? Let's do it. I mean, you can't, you, you gotta, you gotta. She knows. She's Louise. Here she is, Judy's gems. Hi, Judy. Did you shut me off before? I did, I put you in the box. 
Why? We'll talk about it I, later. I didn't finish telling you about my phone well, call. Talk about it right now, or I have to put uh -huh. you again. I need you to think about what you're saying, and I'll put you. I, in. You start telling me again. I was just funning with him. It's no, we can't talk about that. Funning is canceled. We'll we'll discuss it after. <laughs> we're live right now, and we're waiting for your gem. Oh, I no, I don't know if I can yeah. say it. That's brilliant. I, that's it. I have nothing to say. Wait a second. You don't do be too. Like that. You do too. Yes, you do. Well, now I now I feel like I was censored. Well, you maybe were. I'll have to be censored again. No, just just talk about what what you told me. <laughs> you got to talk about. I love. It. Well, well, you know, my life sucks. What can I tell you? Everything goes wrong for me. Everything. I Do you know. remember when I told you I ordered some eyebrow pencils and they were coming from China? Can I say that? Yes, you can say that. Okay. Well, how long ago, how long ago was this? In April. 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 Okay. So I finally, I kept tracking it, you know, and it was delivered on the 14th of July. Oh. And at the time I ordered it, I put it to in care of Amy's address right. in Lindenhurst. Thinking you and were she said, at the time. she said she never got anything. Hmm. So, okay. So I went and I bought this yesterday for $18. It it's Ooh. called Unbelieve Brow. Okay, $18. And I put it on. I look like Frida Kohal. Kalo, Kalo, yeah. you know the, the artist with the thick right. eyebrows. Yeah. yeah, that's who I look like. How could you look so, like that? What? You're putting it on. You control how much goes on, no? Well, yeah, but you know, uh, it's so kind of hard for me. What I don't understand is it like a pencil? Is it like did, it's, you, is it like it's, liquid eyebrow? It's like three applications. Uh, three applications. Three applications. Well, uh, three steps. Three steps. Three steps. So you, what you're yeah. saying is maybe the product is good, but you couldn't execute it. Well, I'm not a makeup artist. You are not. So anyway, so I might bring unbelievable brow back, but what? the clincher, the clincher, <laughs> Amy FaceTimes me today, mm -hmm. and she goes, look what I got. They came today. Oh, there you go. After I spent eighteen dollars on Unbelievable Brow. Now, are they better than Unbelievable Brow? I don't know. They're at our house. Oh, okay. But now I have to call my bank and tell them I got it because they gave me a credit, and you know, I don't want to. You know, trying I don't to want them to think I'm trying to pull something over on them, even yeah. though it took over seventy-four days. I have a question. Would you ever consider, because people do this, I think they do this. They get their eyebrows like kind of tattooed on. Have you heard of that? Yes. Yes. Would you do that? I don't need to. I have eyebrows. It just needs to darken them you in. You want them darker. So if it took you from April to July to get two little eyebrow pencils. Yeah. I have no shot at getting that pool Zero. before 2021. No, it'll be, it's going to be <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you don't know. You might get the pool. I mean, uh, maybe my eyebrows went astray. I don't know. I don't know. You know, Judy, we, we were talking because you've been very down on yourself lately about your hair. Right. You make Look at it. Well, look. Well, what did you say to us before? I need a makeover. Done. Happening. Instant show. Oh, my Instant God. Show. My hair is so get you, get you a makeover. We're going to do it before. And we're going to send you off like they do on uh, the <laughs> Yeah, where? Where you sending me? Sending you right next door to Donna. Yep. And we're going to get makeup and yep. hair done. And then we're going to hair did. bring you back did. all looking fabulous. And then I'm going to mm. take you out. So wear your nice outfit. Yeah, we're going to go right out after. Okay. We should maybe videotape that. Or do you want to do it live? Well, I think. Um, well, 
this is show we'll, production. We'll have to discuss we'll have to talk about this. That we'll discuss how we're you can do. just take a picture of me before. No, I think no, I think no, no. no. That's not accurate. no. We're gonna videotape that whole process. We're videotaping the process. We'll have to trim it down. Yeah, we can edit right because we don't want to show any finished product until she steps in front of the camera and then Bam. We'll, right. I know. That's what we're. What gonna if do. I don't like it? Can I say I don't like it? Well, you know what, mom. Yes. Nobody is counting on you liking it. Yes, we're not censoring you. You can say whatever you want. Nobody is ah. counting on you liking it. So if you like it, we'll be shocked. I think you're going to like it. Well, we'll see about that. You got to think we'll about it. Are you going to give us kind of free reign? No, you're going to have an input no, on, you, on the Why, hair. Am I going to have purple hair or something? No. Maybe, maybe if that's what you wanted. No. but well, We're not going to. We're going to let pink. the professional. Tell you what will work with your hair, even though because you think yeah. your hair will do all of these crazy things that you want it to do. Like the time yeah. of your hair to look like Oprah. What? Remember when you wanted Oprah's hair because it was that curly hair? Oh, I love her hair. I do. I love curly hair. <laughs> you don't have Oprah hair. But yeah, I, I wish I did. Oprah wig. We can get you an Oprah wig for sure. We can get you a wig. But I could, but then my grandchildren would make fun of me again. I tried that. Been there, done that. Well, we need to get you a good wig, but that's for another day. It's another conversation. But you got your eyebrow pencil, so I'm very uh, uh, interested. Yeah, but of course, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Of course, I had to have an incident today at the deli counter. Uh -oh. I go by the rules, and I walked up to the deli counter. I took my ticket. I didn't know that the two other people waiting, one was being waited on. I thought they were both being waited on. So she uh, called my number. I said, here. And the man in back of me was very indignant because he was waiting online. But but he said, well, I didn't know you have to take a ticket. So is that my oh. fault? No, it's not your fault. No. Yeah. And, you know, I said, and like, you know, like the person cutting the meat, you know, she was like, well, I'll be right with you, sir. Sir, if what, you were a woman, I'd tell you to go, you know what. What did you sir, say to him? What? What did you say to him? I said to him, I'm only getting ham. I'll be out of here in a minute. And then when I turned to the woman cutting it, I said, I didn't want to start an international thing. Incident. Yeah. Um, so that's my life. Well, mom. The way it goes. Did, he apologize? did he apologize? Did he realize that? Oh, you know, I should take No. It. And you know what? He went to the checkout and he cut the line. He didn't even know that you have to wait and be told which line right. to go on. Stay in America? I mean, really? You don't know that you, you go on lines? Did he have he, maybe his wife sent him for the first time. I don't know. But the thing is, I have to be the one to walk up, take a ticket. And have you know an incident? And were you when wearing back a mask? Huh? Were you wearing a mask, and was he wearing a mask? Yeah. What mask were you wearing? It was a paper mask. See, this is why when Judy could have been like mask. Judy could have been like this. <laughs> I probably, I probably looked like that. I did say a couple of expletives. Like, oh, he's not mad at all. He's yeah. like this. Oh gosh. Yeah. All right, mom. That's the bad side of me. <laughs> All right. Let me go. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Yeah. All right. Anytime. I love Anytime. you. See you later. Okay. Take All it right. easy. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh gosh. I just I'm only getting ham. <laughs> um okay. So a lot of comments, um, you know. So okay, so I think we're we're um, probably You're overstaying our welcome. No, you, you got pepper gets pepper. Oh not, right, I'm not leaving. That's right, pepper gets We've pepper. We've forty minutes. How could I forget? And we have to talk about our future you're, shows coming you're up. You're tired. And our you, shameless plugs. Because you didn't get a lot of sleep when you're glamping. I was partying. I was partying. Did you do a lot of drinking? Um, to find a lot. Was I drunk? For, for me or the normal person? Well, I wasn't drunk. 
Was there one night you got like really drunk? No, no, it's kind of love you. No. <laughs> this is the best time ever. I don't mind sleeping on the kitchen counter. No, no, it was kind of in a steady. Yeah, you had a steady glow. Steady glow. Yeah, I would that say. works. I would say, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's Are you good. want to get peppered? I want to get peppered. All right, so this is the pepper gets peppered summer trivia. Oh, summer trivia with a summer drink. I'm By just, high I don't noon. know how many of these you're going to get. Some uh, of these are tough. Well, we already know. I'm not really good at pepper gets peppered. And some are opinions. Like, you might have a different oh, opinion. I'm, I'm oh. just going to okay. throw it out there. You're opening up the... Are right, you ready to start the first one? I'm ready. Oh. Bring it on. This object grows six inches every summer due to thermal expansion. <laughs> Can you name it? Sorry. I think you'd like the opener. Six inches in the summer. An object? An object. Grows six inches in the summer. In the summer. Through the thermal expansion. So when it's hot, it grows. Um, a hole in the ozone layer. Oh. You up? I'm out of guesses with that one. This is a tough one, but I just like that it was six. <laughs> it's uh the Eiffel Tower. Actually. What? Grows six inches in the summertime because it's made out of iron. So when it heats up, I never would have guessed that. You just wanted to say grow six inches in the summer. But it was a good opener. <laughs> That's a good opener. I did not see that coming. That was very good. That was good. I liked it. Okay. Roseanne, uh, Chris. what does SPF on sunscreen bottle stand for? Oh, um, I made this a multiple choice. If you want me to give you the multiple choices, or do you want to take a stab I'm at it? I'm going to take a stab at it. Go and then ahead. if I'm completely wrong, give me the multiple choice. Solar protection factor. That is not technically correct. Okay. What are the choices? You want to, I'll give you another one. You're like right there close. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sun protection factor? That is true. Cool. Ah. I was going to say sun originally. Then I was like, no, that's... He's too easy. It's too easy. It's got to be solar. So I don't know if I can give it's you... It's got to be a technicality. I, I wonder how many people knew that. I bet a lot of people knew that. I would think I'm gonna so. Give you the, I'm going to give you the technical, yeah. Solar, sun. Sun, yeah. Same thing. SPF. An so an interesting factoid on SPF. Okay. So, and there'll be some that dispute this, but this is what I read. So... Did you write you it down really and read it, or did, did you read it somewhere? Really? No, I, I did a little <laughs> research on this damn thing. So really, the maximum SPF you should wear is? 30. That is correct. Because if you go anything over 30, that blocks 97% yep. of the sun's rays. Anything above that is, You're just wasting is your money. de minimus. De minimus? Yeah, I just threw that SAP away. Whoa. How about that? Wow. So when they say get this sunblock fifty, it's and it's an extra three dollars. Ninety eight percent. It's the same thing. Um, so you're either in the sun for it's the same amount of time. You know they say like oh it's ten minutes per. So you can stay in there for you know if it's fifteen minutes that your sun will get burned. You know the yeah. SPF factor is like times ten. So you can stay on the sun for like you know one hundred and fifty minutes if it's you know SPF ten. Gotcha. So gotcha. technically. You can, like four hours you can stay, but you should always apply. And if you go in the water, make sure you apply it. Thank I, you. I did know that about the 30, okay. though. I, I don't know how I knew that. That was pretty I good. That. So you got that one. Yeah. Well, I have it was a little it was actually... in my eye. I don't know what's going on right now with <laughs> no. my eye. I'm having an issue. But... You want contacts? I am. I hate them. But go ahead. That wasn't even a question. No. So you got one right. That wasn't even a question. I did. So that doesn't count you up. Oh, okay. The dog days of summer are the hottest time of the year, which are July 3rd to August 11th. Why are they called the dog days of summer? Um, I don't know, because you're walking around panting and drinking a lot of water? No. So, in ancient times, the Greek and Romans, so the star that would rise in, on July 3rd was Sirius, the dog star. Which is part of bigger constellation. Uh, so when they knew this was coming up, they're like, "Okay, hot weather's coming," which led to many fevers, catastrophes, and all sorts of things. So that kind of triggered. Oh, oh there's that star. Fuck off. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a rough. All right, two, so three weeks. so that's what's happening now, right? What, 
you know, these pepper gets pepper really outing me about like how dumb I am. I don't know. Oh, that. I didn't know that until I researched. It's not like I have this. I thought it was that song, The Dog. Okay, okay. speaking of songs, mm-hmm. good segue. Oh. According to Rolling Stone magazine, Uh-oh. the number one summer song of all time is. I had multiple choices. Hold on, let me just think back this one minute. Number one summer song of all summer time. Summer song. It's right. Strictly summer. Just summer. Not overall um, song. I'm thinking it's what you mean? either got to be. It's either going to be a Beach Boys or a Jimmy Buffett. I'm going to give you multiple choice. Give me multiple choice. Dancing in the Street by Martha and the Vandellas. Okay. Now, this is according to Rolling Stone magazine, by the way. Okay. This is why this is like an opinion. I Like It Like That by Cardi B and Bad Bunny. School's Out by Alice Cooper. Mm-hmm. And Break the Ice by Britney Spears. Right, I, know, that's a throw. I know it's not Britney. I know it's not... Party B. It's got to be the first one. You say Dancing in the Streets. Yeah. I would have thought that too. But it's. Cardi B. I like it. No, like it's that. not. I voted that song. I like it like that. Ooh. No. Really? 2018, that song was out and they said there was not a place you can go and it wasn't on the radio. Yeah, I but tend to disagree. I but tend this to... is why Rolling Stone. That's why I said some of this is opinion. Yeah, because I thought what you meant your... like of all time. Yes. Cardi B. This is what they're saying. All right. Well, whatever. She ain't watching. We want to get her as a guest. I, I would love to. I'm saying. I, I can't even ask her because she's not watching. Okay. According to Entertainment Weekly, what is the number one summer blockbuster movie of all time? Jaws. That's correct. That one I know. My brother-in-law would have been so mad at me if I got that, that wrong. It kind of set the tone for all the other summer blockbusters. It hasn't grossed the most money. No. But it really was the one that kind of set the stage for the summer ET, release. Uh, Jurassic Park, Star Wars, and those were all, yeah. you know, it's funny, they're all Spielberg films, right? You know, E.T. Forrest Gump, E.T., home. Uh, E.T. Yeah. We released Annie in 1982, but they released E.T. before us. Kind of swooped in and uh, stole our stole thunder. thunder. Yeah. Damn, that's too discreet. But, yeah, so that's that's what happened there. So um, That's kind of the sum, the Pepper Gets Peppered Summer Edition. I think you did pretty good. I, I did. I did. Jaws, you I nailed thought. it. I nailed Jaws. I'll give you SPF. The SPF. I knew 30. I knew what it meant. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you did good. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. I, I'll take that. Well I will take that. All right. Um, we have some good shows coming up, though. Oh. We got to figure out where we're fitting in the Judy makeover. That's going to be on one of them. But um, July 30th, we have dinner with Suki. Working up the I details. I already wrote the pepper gets peppered. Ah, oh, very good. I did a little um, free game. Nice. Nice. So we have that coming up with uh, C.F. Wynn, author, and she'll also be talking about her new book yeah. that's ready to be released, which I was supposed to be a beta reader for. A oh, beta yeah. reader yeah. gives back feedback and everything. Yeah, opinions and stuff. Yeah. And I found out I'm a really bad beta reader <laughs> because I couldn't find anything wrong with it. I really liked it. It wasn't one thing. I mean, if I was going to be nitpicky, well, that's what they want. They pick me. See? Well, I'm not a good beta reader. I'm just a bad reader. I mean, I thought it was really good. It was very different from Suki and right. from her other book, um, right. Haunted Life, Haunted House, Haunted House, Haunted Life. I was nitpicky. Right. Very different, but really um, enjoyable. I started, enjoyable. I started the Haunted. You did? I did. Okay. I got to page 15. Okay, good. So far, just because my mind's gone. So I'm going to finish that. But it's supposed to be a sequel, which I'm going to ask CF about, to the Suki oh, book. The Suki book, yes. So the new book is, so the beta read book that you're doing. It's not the sequel. It's not the sequel. Se- what are we doing, CF? Let's talk about this. <laughs> I told you I have questions, and this is going to be one of them, so you better be ready. And don't post and dump something on me. She'll be ready. She yeah. will be Save ready for, for sure. I'm not even worried about that. Um, August 6th. Uh, Jennifer Paris, Celebrity Parent Magazine. More, very, more research. Very exciting. Um, August 13th, the big Women in Business show with Tonya DeCosimo. 
editor and founder of Power um, yeah, magazine Power online. Man. Yep. Power Radio, Power TV. She's big. She's big. Yeah. Um, and uh, and that's what we've got going on so far. I am still stalking celebrities actively. How you doing with that? Not good. No one's really getting back to Not this. really getting a lot of answers. So then I've tried to downgrade to, like, you know, be celebrities. Be list right. celebrities. Okay. I got nothing. Want to see. I don't want understand. To see. I don't understand. Because I just got a call, not even a call, a message from a guy in Australia who is working with Columbia Pictures to do a new Blu ray of Annie and wants interviews and he wants to interview me. That's cool. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, heck yeah. So, and shameless plug, last shameless plug. I like that plug. That was That's a, good a good one. one. That was a good one. How did you reach out to you? How did you find uh, you? Messenger on Facebook. Just the way I've been reaching out to people, people. Better answer. We're going to get Judy on you, and it's not going to yeah. be good for you. We're going to get sick Judy on you, and then that'll be it. Yeah, what are you going to do then? <laughs> what you going to do when she comes, she comes for you? Yeah. Um, And then tomorrow yes. on YouTube, Okay. Pandemic TV. Pandemic TV. Premieres. Who knew that was a channel? Who knew? It's a new one I like it. on YouTube Premium, and um, I am featured as one of their uh, skits. And from what I understand, awesome. there's going to be something with this brace yourself, me and you, that he's compiling and puts together. Right. So we're going to be on Pandemic TV. Okay. So that's exciting. So check it out. I think we've overstayed our welcome. We are right at about an hour again. Perfect. Perfect. What do we got? We have 56, 56 45. 44. Let's make sure. Um, Paul, lot, Paul, Paul makes a lot of comments. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that's good. So Deborah Jean, we talked to. Paul, we talked to. Melanie said something. Um, I know. Do I want any Howard Stern Rat Pack guys? I don't know. I had to censor Judy. I don't know how that would work. But we'll talk offline, Paul. And you can let me know what um, what you got. All right, Mr. Grando? I'm good to go. I'm good to go, too. Folks, have a great weekend. Yes, have a good weekend. Stay See safe. Next week, big stay, show. Stay next warm, week's a big stay show. Stay cool. Next week's a big show. Next week's a big show. We're going to have a big one. Um, that's what she said. All right. I got to go. Peace and love. Peace and love. Take care, folks. Bye. Bye.